Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. Today I will be sharing with you some real time questions that are being frequently asked in Power BI interviews and from which you can actually analyze your preparation. As you all know, along with Power BI, most of the companies are asking questions related to SQL also. So I have come up with a video where you will get to know the real time questions asked covering both Power BI and SQL which I think you won't find anywhere else on the YouTube. So please subscribe the channel for the upcoming videos. This is part one. So let's start the video without wasting any time. I'd like to add that I'm not covering the answers of these questions as answers of most of these questions I have already covered in my two playlists, one for Power BI and the other for SQL. So if you're looking for the answers, you can go through both the playlist. I will provide the link in the description box. Okay. And still, if you have any query, in any of the questions you can just comment down i would love to answer your query so let's start the questions that you can expect from power query sections are displayed here first one is how will you change the source path of your data that means suppose you are connected to an excel file that is hosted locally in our in your machine and if the requirement is that you have to change it to some relational database source then what how will you do that okay so that can be asked Second one is what is the difference between copying and referencing a table or a query? Okay. Third one is how can you see the statistics of any column? The last one is what do you mean by left entity merge options? So these questions you can expect from power query section. Let's move ahead with the next section. That is the model view. So first question is that will related DAX function work in any measure if you have many to many relationship between two tables? If no, why? It's a very good question. So you should have a thorough knowledge of related DAX function. Second question is what is the semi additive fact table? And the last one is what are conformed dimensions? The, these two questions you can find from the data warehouse concepts. So you should also have some knowledge on data warehousing. Okay, let's move ahead with the next section. This is the report view. This is the report view section. First one is what are the different filter options available in Power BI desktop? Okay. Second one is what will you do if some of your visuals are not filtering out on clicking on a particular visual? Okay. This is a scenario based question. So you have to answer accordingly. And the last one is how can you create a constant line on your visual or any of the visuals displayed on your report? Okay. Let's move ahead with the next section. This is the DAX section. So the question that you can expect from here is differentiate between sum and sum x functions. Second one is what is the difference between a measure and a calculated column? Third one is explain the difference between calculate and calculate table functions. And the last one is how can you create a one row table using DAX? Let's move ahead with the next section. This is the Power BI service section. So from here you can expect these questions. First one is which license does the developers have and what is the difference between pro and premium license? Second one is what is the difference between a member and a contributor access level in a workspace? And the third one is what is row level security that is RLS and explain the process the way it is implemented in our model. Okay, let's move ahead with the next section. This is the SQL question that can be asked. So first one is what is the difference between a primary and a unique key? Second one is can you give an example of cell join? Any real time example of cell join? That you can explain here third one is what are constraints and the last one is tell me the difference between union and union all okay let's move ahead with the next section based on sql only can you write a sql code to copy data from one table to another okay so that the code so the code you have to write in the notepad or, or in the chat section second one is write a sql query to delete duplicate records of a table so you can make use of a CT to answer this question. And the last one is, have you heard about query execution plan? If yes, please explain. So most of the questions I've already covered in my playlist, as I've already said in the starting that you can go through the playlist if you have any confusion. Okay. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you got some idea about the questions asked and tested your preparation. I will continue to upload more videos on this. Next video upload will be on coming Saturday. So stay tuned and please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you.